Djokovic will just have to kiss the French Open title goodbye, but Ayo has that and other stories on Sports News. Many thanks, Belinda. Well, let's start from the home front first. Well, 240 athletes from 14 states of the Federation will compete in the fourth edition of the Special Olympics Nigeria National Games with the theme, Create Inclusive Communities. At the four-day event, athletes will compete in six Olympic-type sports at the Taslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos. The National Games, held every four years, indeed marks the beginning of the journey to the 2019 World Summer Games. Board members of the Special Olympic Nigeria shelved their usually tight schedule to gather for the official press conference heralding the Games. The National Games gives us a unique opportunity to be part of something not only impactful but also very inspiring. With 240 athletes from 14 states of the Federation converging in Lagos State, these games are truly national in our look, and I believe they will go a long way in fostering a strong sense of unity and cooperation amongst Nigerians. This year also marks the 50th anniversary of Special Olympics as a global organization. To mark the 50th anniversary, our unified soccer team will represent Nigeria and Africa at the unified soccer Cup holding July 17th to 21st, 2018 in Chicago, where 24 teams will be competing. Hopefully, our team will come with the cup. The media parley also provided a platform for board members to appreciate partners and sponsors who had made the 12-year journey of Special Olympic Nigeria worthwhile. The thing about sponsorship is that it can be done at two levels. You can you can put money down, and at the same time you can you can actually get involved. Uh, Special Olympics Nigeria. I must commend all the members of the board and the chair, chairman, Mr. Shubodu, for being consistent over the years, and all the board members. Honestly, uh, each person brings something special uh, to the group. Those who in, are involved actively with the children, those who are involved in organizing things, those who are involved in funding, I really want to personally thank them for all they've done. For our sponsors, for our partners, for those who commit time and energy and effort to the work of Special Olympics, you bring so much joy mm -hmm. to families, more than you can imagine. In addition to that, Special Olympics is always raising the flag of Nigeria in the international community. This year's games will hold at the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos from June the 10th to the 13th. Novak Djokovic has crashed out of the French Open after losing to Italy's Marco Cicinato in the quarterfinal. Well, Djokovic saved three match points and missed three set points before the world number 72 finally won 6-3, 7-6, 1-6, 7-6. Kitchenato had never won a main draw match at a Grand Slam before this year's Roland Garros. He will face Austria's Dominic Thiem in the last four. Meanwhile, Dominic Thiem has coasted through to the French Open semi-finals with a 6-4, 6-2, 6-1 victory over Alexander Zverev, who was hampered by a leg injury. Now, the Austrian secured the crucial break of serve to take the opening set 6-4 and kept his consistency and composure in impressive fashion. Zverev, the number two seed at Roland Garros, was badly affected by a leg injury, has received heavy strapping to his left thigh. And that's a wrap on Sports News. Melinda will be back with the rest of the news at 10. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei has ordered preparations to increase uranium enrichment capacity if efforts to save the 2015 nuclear deal being worked out by European leaders falls through. European signatories have been scrambling to save the deal, which they see as crucial to presenting an Iranian nuclear weapon by seeking to ring-fence trade with Iran against new U.S. financial sanctions to dissuade Iran from quitting the deal. 
in case European, Russian and Chinese signatories to the deal are unable to protect its diplomatic benefits for Iran. Kanami says he has ordered Iran's Atomic Energy Agency to prepare to upgrade its uranium enrichment capacity. Iran's increasing capacity to enrich uranium to higher levels was one of the burning issues during years of negotiations with world powers which wanted enrichment limited to research to minimize the risk of Iran being able to assemble a nuclear power plant at any time. Iran has repeatedly denied seeking a nuclear weapon from enrichment. And the Guatemalan authorities are still searching for those missing since the Fargo volcano erupted on Sunday, killing more than 60 people. Sunday's volcanic eruption is said to be the most destructive in four decades, forcing more than 3,000 people from their homes. Although a lot of people did not make it out on time, many who did are still in shock over losing their families. And the main news again. Federal lawmakers today threatened to invoke constitutional powers against the president should he fail to check security and political harassment issues. The joint executive session of the National Assembly also upheld the Senate's vote of no confidence on the Inspector General of Police. Also today, the Defense Minister, Mansour Dan Ali, called for the suspension of anti-open grazing laws in affected states. He made a call when security chiefs met with the president behind closed doors for over five hours. And Iran today threatened to increase uranium enrichment if the 2015 nuclear deal falls apart. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akiwami.